together because we worked on this together. Good evening, I am Adrienne Kenny. I'm Elizabeth Stabile. We each have two children in the school system. We want to thank the board for taking the time to hear our concerns. Since you announced on October 3rd that the School Closure Task Force is targeting Lewisboro Elementary for potential closure, you have heard from many voices on both sides of the issue. You have heard from parents, you have heard from politicians, and you have heard from property owners and renters. But there is one important group that you have not yet heard. Over the past few weeks, Adrian and myself have been visiting stores, restaurants, businesses in South Salem and the Cross River areas. We tracked down the owners of these businesses, which was not an easy task, to open a dialogue with them regarding this potential closure and its effects on us all. We had candid and often lengthy discussions with them on this subject, and I can honestly report they had all heard of the issue, were shocked at the time frame, and disturbed with the data. And after this discussion, we asked them to read our petition statement, which reads as follows. We believe that the decision to close LES is being made with insufficient and inaccurate data and is progressing in a rushed manner, unsuitable for a decision that disrupts our community so deeply. Closing LES for a projected budget savings of less than 2% will displace 30% and disrupt 100% of the district's elementary students. Not to be overlooked, the lack of an elementary school in our hamlet may negatively impact our valued local family-owned businesses. Every owner, and again, we spoke strictly with owners only, there were not random employee signatures, signed our petition without hesitation. These are the owners of true local family-owned small businesses. Most of these people do live in district and have children who are either in or a product of this school system. These businesses include AIA Team Sports, Paccio Trattoria, Bagel Nosh Cafe, Barbara Lynch Dentist, Mountain Mobile, Body Back Fitness, Club Z Tutoring, uh, Caps Country Deli, Cooney Tree Service, Cross River Animal Hospital, Cross River Barbershop, Cross River Cleaners, Cross River Eye Care, Cross River Pharmacy, Cross River Shell, and Cross River Wine mer Merchant. as well as DeChico's Marketplace, Echo Farm, For Your Nails, Gossett Nursery, The Gym at Body Fit, G Walker Construction, Haiku Restaurant, Horse and Hound, JT Farms and JT Stable Incorporated, Kyle Worrell, Chiropractor, John Keith Russell Antiques, La Familia Pizzeria, Land and Homes Realty, Leslie Simon Dental Office, Lewisboro Paint and Hardware, Michelle Blum Photography, One Price Cleaners, Orange Barrel Media, Sal's Service Station, Salem Liquor, Salem Nails and Spa, South Salem Anim Animal Hospital, South Salem Enrichment, Subway Sandwich Shop, Treat Frozen Yogurt, Vision Salon, and Wood Tiger Martial Arts, and The Yellow Monkey. These business owners believe that closing our neighborhood school is short-sighted. They believe it will com compromise our school district and lower the attractiveness of our community to prospective buyers. Most of all, it may harm their businesses. On behalf of these 44 business owners, bef before you decide whether to close Lewisboro Elementary, you must consider the serious consequences of your actions. Here are their signatures and contact information. Thank you for your time.